What we are attempting to show is a convergent plate boundary. This is where two pieces of the Earth's crust are moving towards each other. The pieces are suspended on the liquid asthenosphere, which allows them to move freely. When two plates converge into each other, a subduction zone can form. This is caused by a piece of continental crust colliding with a piece of oceanic crust. Because of the strong, constant physical interaction between the two plates, subduction zones tend to be areas of high tectonic activity. The continental crust is comprised of mostly felsic rocks, rich in feldspar and quartz. On the other hand, the oceanic crust is mafic, meaning it is rich in iron and magnesium and has very little silica content. Continental crust is much thicker and less dense than oceanic crust, so when the two meet, the oceanic crust subducts under the continental crust. Sometimes the collision causes a mountain range to be formed through uplift and accumulation of non-subducted materials. Underneath the surface of subduction zone, the pressure and heat will cause something called pressure melting. When water is added, it brings down the melting temperature of the rocks. The oceanic crust will begin to melt. Sometimes a deep underwater trench can form between the two plates. As pressure melting continues, magma can intrude upwards into the continental crust. It works its way upwards at a weak spot, which exists either simply because the crust is thinner there, or because it's composed largely of minerals with low melting points. Eventually, the magma will erupt at the surface, and over time a volcanic mountain is formed.